Well, it's that time again. It's time for the glitz, the glamour, and the tea in Hollywood. And Renee is here to spill it and reveal all the latest headlines about your favorite stars. Good morning, Renee. Hello, Renee. Good morning, you two. All right, let's talk about it. Sean Diddy Combs, over the weekend, what happened? So this actually happened yesterday in L.A. and Miami. Oh and there was a raid on his, his homes. Federal agents, Homeland Security, FBI, you name it, it involves sex trafficking and they made the announcement yesterday and P, P. Diddy was notified at an airport at completely random to where his homes were. He was not the target of the investigation, but his sons King and Justin are, and there are reports and TMZ is reporting video of his sons being put in handcuffs. This story is breaking. It is unsettling and they say that it is disturbing what they're going to be revealing. Uh, and we're going to be watching this for you. But again, they have not named him as the source of the investigation, but rather his children. And it's a, a big sex trafficking scandal. Uh, oh, my word. Wow. That's, that's terrible. Awful. I can't imagine as a parent, like, hearing that news, too. No, right? exactly. Oh, my gosh. Um, how is Arnold Schwarzenegger doing after having some surgery? Yeah, I didn't know he had surgery. <laughs> Yeah, so last week he had a pacemaker put in. And, of course, this isn't the first time that the, the Terminator has gone in for heart surgeries. He's had some in the in the 90s. Then he had some reval uh, valves replaced again in, in 2018 and 2020. But he is letting people know that he is okay. Not a week later, after his pacemaker surgery, he was out in an event with his fellow environmental friend, Jane Fonda. He's doing fine. He says, I'll be back again and again and, and again. again. So and again. He's doing great. Okay. <laughs> and Rebel Wilson calling out Sasha Baron Cohen. Okay, so this story is very interesting. So she's got a new book out. Obviously, it's an autobiography called Rebel Rising. And she says that Sasha was a horrible human being to her on a movie project that they were working on called um, The Brothers Grinsby. They worked on that in 2016, I guess. But in any event, she's calling him out for bullying, harassing. I mean, really not so nice things he's saying not only is it not true but that everyone has a right to express their feelings he doesn't want to hamper that however he's got proof video and documentation that will clear his name so he says he's not letting this drop she's not letting this drop everyone in hollywood is saying this has just begun all right i have a favorite comedy it's um um, hey, Mambo, Mambo, Italian, Married mm -hmm. to the Mob. I have my favorite uh, uh, serious movie. It's Ordinary People. And my third is the most disturbing movie, which was Joker. If you haven't seen Joker, it's probably one of the most disturbing movies you're going to see. It, it affected me for days. So how is Joker 2 going to be different than Joker the regular? Okay, so they're calling it a jukebox. It's going to be a musical, and it went from the Joker movie that you're referring to had a $60 million budget. This one has a $200 million budget. It's starring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, and they're going to be singing covers. It's not known if they're going to be any original songs, but meanwhile, one of the covers is That's Entertainment from the 1953 musical The Bandwagon. And again, they're saying the budget could be that big because of rights to music and songs. No word on when this is coming out, but it is going to be a musical with the two of them as the main stars singing and performing. I'm not sure what to expect from this. Wow. All right. That's impressive. And what happened to Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart, didn't he receive a big award over the weekend? He did Sunday night. He got the Mark Twain Award for his work in comedy and, of course, in acting. He's a big movie theater. Jerry Seinfeld was there. Uh, Dave Chappelle. All the big comedians were there. And you can watch him receive this award on Netflix. They are going to... Oh, let me see. I have the date here, but I lost it. They're going to show it on Netflix. Hold on. Right. Oh, gosh. May 11th. May, May 11th. 11th. All right. Okay. And uh, big congratulations are in order for Katie Couric. A grandma for the very first time. They're posting pictures on social media. They're doing uh, a nod to her husband, who is obviously the father of her kids, uh, who passed away to colon cancer. Um, so they're going to call him Jay. But a healthy baby boy, Grandma Couric, is very excited. And, of course, she wants to be known as Glamma. Okay. Aww. Although I did see a photo when she announced the news holding her, her grandson, and it said go-go on the sweater it was so oh, i don't know oh, isn't that cute that is adorable very happy so with her daughter so cute Aww. all right thanks renee we appreciate it have a great day love you guys bye bye-bye love you